now in this video we will learn how mm, the images uh, are formed mm, in front of a plane mirror of an extended object let me draw one extended object as I am not uh, a good artist like you um, I will draw um, as the suggestion for an extended object like this let AB be that extended object in front of the plane mirror M M1 this is the coated surface I am uh, going to complete it out of many rays coming out of this object we will consider two rays from this end and two from that which will uh, strike the mirror but here we will apply the conception we have gathered from um, the video um, where we have learned how to draw image uh, by a plane mirror to do that we will drop a perpendicular from this point and from that point because we know the distance between the object and the mirror is equals the distance between uh, the image and the mirror so we will draw a perpendicular and measure these two distances here from here from here both we have learned how to draw perpendicular from a point outside the line this is the point outside the line so we will use this set square and we will draw the perpendicular we have learnt in that video I have drawn, drawn two uh, perpendiculars from this point from that point by using the set square now I will measure this distance remember if uh, scale does not give you the exact measurement here it is giving the exact measurement if it does not give the exact exact measurement use the compass it is giving 3 meters, uh, centimeter this side so 3 centimeter that side also here this point is the image of point A so let me write this as A dash from here also we will measure let's see uh, it is also giving the exact measurement 4.2 so that side also B dash is that point image of B so this will be the image let me draw we have drawn it on the basis of the conception we have gathered um, from that video where we have explained how to draw image formed by a planed mirror of an of, of, of a point object here this is the extended object but the same conception is to be applied here also now we will take two incident ray from this point this end and from two incident ray from this end otherwise many incident rays are available but if you draw so many incident rays the drawing will be clumsy so let me complete the incident ray from this and from that so these are the incident rays now what we will do we will join these two points and those two points for the point A I have drawn these two rays of reflection from this point now I am going to complete uh, uh, the rays of reflection from these points two rays of reflection we will get these are the rays of reflection if an observer watches from here uh, the observer will observe the image here inside the mirror now let's measure the length of the object length of the object I had taken uh, 3 centimeter and length of the image 3 centimeter so in case of Mm, plane mirror size of the object remains same size of the object remains same in case of a plane mirror 
one more thing due to the distance between the object and the mirror and uh, that between the image and the mirror lateral inversion takes place lateral means sideways lateral inversion takes place so some characteristics we have learned from here I am telling you images are laterally inverted same size distance between the object and the mirror equals the distance between the image and the mirror these three characteristics we can uh, observe from the drawing one more thing is if you stand in front of the uh, mirror then you will see the image is erect straight upright so these are the four characteristics of an image formed by a plane mirror